Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. Um, if you're looking for any information like to book a personal reading or our tarot cards, Magical Fantasy Tarot, you will also find those links in the description box. So let's get into this, guys. This is this is love, this is singles, this is twin flame, and this is money for cancer starting out with love what do we got cancer what do we got for love what's happening what's happening where love is concerned mm. okay cancer you may be traveling with friends and you may meet somebody new I feel like you're going to meet somebody new. There's new love. You got friends and travel and you may meet somebody while you're traveling. Let's get into this. This is you being, you know, your, your wish fulfillment with that nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. You're wishing to be patient to make a decision um, because you're wanting equal give and take. So you may be just, uh, flying by the seat of your pants, doing doing you, being making sure that you're happy. Um, with this chariot, that could be traveling. You could be traveling. You could be just enjoying your life. I feel like... Ooh. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to be happy. Somebody be, you know, manifesting, manifesting the harsh truth. This could be an attack of some sort from a queen of wands who's unhappy. This person's unhappy and they don't want you to be happy. So this doesn't have to be that this person's doing trickery. They could be, they could be, or this just could be a friend that's jealous of the fact that you're finding something and they don't, and they're unhappy. They're manifesting the harsh truth because they're unhappy. Um, I feel like you may hold back. In the past, you may have held back because you felt like that you were being somebody's competition you're holding back because you felt like you were competition in the past guys your friends are not your friends if they're your frenemies right even if you're traveling with friends if there's somebody there that you feel like you want to step back because you're competition to them that's not your friend, right? I feel like at the end of the day, you're attracted to who you're attracted to and they're attracted to who they're attracted. They can't always win, okay? So, and the fact of the matter is this this is you, you guys got to work together. You got to collaborate. If there's three of you that are traveling together, you're always worried about if, if it's going to cause drama here, um, you know, because of, when you're out having a good time, you don't want to cause drama. So you're, you may be very trapped in your head about this. You're worried about this, but I do see that you're going to meet somebody. I feel like it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're coming in as Empress energy and you're doing a lot of thinking about this. Um, Cancer, you're doing a lot of thinking about this. You're taking a look, step back and looking at things from a different perspective now because this person kind of chimed your bell, okay? You got a new beginning here and you're going to get justice in a situation. So I feel like if you've gone around with this friend for a while, they're, they're unhappy if you're getting something they're not. They're not, you're not competing with this person. This person is competing with themselves and they just don't like it when they don't win. That's the problem. So do you, boo, because you got, you got love coming towards you. Cancer, you got love coming towards you. Now, singles. Tell me about singles. Tell me about singles. Past love and casual dating. Hmm. Arrows of love, Cupid under the bottom of the deck. Okay. 
This is a past love, but you think you can casually date? You guys, you cannot casually date somebody you used to love. It doesn't work out that way. You fall back into old patterns very quickly. Okay, so tell me about cancer singles, especially a cancer. I mean, come on, guys. Two of swords. You may have cut this person out in the past. You're trying to balance your wish fulfillment. This is about reconciliation with that three of cups. Four of cups. You may be holding, uh, you may be, you may be, um, I feel like you're going to miss an opportunity because you're trapped in your head. You're having anxiety over this. This is bringing you, can you see that this brings you anxiety? You don't want to miss an opportunity, but you can see that this brings you anxiety. You're trying to balance out your wish fulfillment. Do you want to reconcile after you, this person cut you out or you cut them out in the past? This is a past love. And you think that you can casually date this person. It's been a long time. You guys ended a cycle. But there's passionate communication about the relationship. And you may have some kind of regret or remorse and want to heal the situation, but you're not saying that. You're not saying that with the high priestess. I feel like you really, you're brokenhearted. This person may be brokenhearted. They're coming in as a king of wands. They want a victory. They want a victory, king of wands, where love is concerned. So they, they want to come towards you, and they want to offer you more than just a casual date. You may be the one who's saying, let's casually date. But this is a past love. That's not going to work out that way, guys. I promise you. This is where it's going to go new beginning of love. If you're the one who's being more reserved, I feel like you're back and forth lying to yourself. If you think that you can be just friends or casual with this person, you're juggling this. You're back and forth lying to yourself about this. So I feel like you know, you know that if you start something with this past love, it's not going to be casual. It's not going to. It's not going to work out that way. So you're going to be off the market or you're going to be single and not date this person. There's only two outcomes there. There isn't anything going to happen. You cannot be friends with somebody that you have been in love with. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. Although people would like you to settle for less than you deserve, but then you would be settling because you have already, you've already tasted the fruit, right? So you already know. Uh, where it's going. Tell me about twin flame. Twin flame. What do we got for the twin flames? What do we got for the twin flames? Ooh. Okay, so you're alone. You feel stuck alone because of a third party. You feel stuck and alone because of a third party. Tell me about Cancer Twin Flame, please. Cancer Twin Flame. Cancer Twin Flame. So I feel like there's an offer here, but you may be at a crossroads about your wish fulfillment of this relationship. You got to look at things from a different perspective, Cancer. Here you are. You've got to look at things from a different perspective on whether or not you want to take that leap and reconcile a situation that's long term and committed. You feel like you're hesitant. You're hesitant to reconcile this. Somebody can see that you're um, a little wound up and holding back. Empress energy. 
It's because somebody betrayed you and juggled a third party. And then you're having to do some soul searching about this tower moment, pre empress energy. Divine timing's at play, but you're very guarded and def defensive. I feel like you wish to work on a situation and have a new beginning. But if this person's in and out with a third party, you're not. It causes burden with you. So you will block the situation and not talk to them. So you'll be alone. You feel stuck because of this third party. You feel like this third party is interfering. And that's why you feel like you're stuck by yourself because of this person. I feel like you, you, there's passionate communication about moving forward, but you feel like somebody may be playing mind games and manipulating you, emperor energy, because of this option. They need to make a choice. Looking back at past mistakes has been going on for a long time. They need to close the cycle out. It needs to stop. If this is going to move forward, it ha that has to stop. You feel stuck because of this third party. Karmics do end, guys. Lessons are learned. Lessons are learned. So. And now money. What's going on for the cancers for money? Tell me about cancer and money. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? got commitment, you got manifestation, and you got career change. So career change is under the bottom of the deck. It's time for a change in career path. You have outgrown your current path. Better options await. You also have manifestation. Take hold of your thoughts and attract your your reality money is manifesting money is manifested effortlessly okay and commitment it's time to make a commitment to your work your finances or your new business ventures so i feel like for you cancer they're saying you're outgrowing something and that there's a there's a need for change it doesn't necessarily mean a change of job but change of whatever that you're doing if you're doing something a certain way you can you need to change it up a little bit right um you meet you need to manifest you need to manifest and you need to make a commitment to your business or your work um, to whatever it is. Like if there's something that you're trying, you need to get in there and do it, right? You need to really focus on what you need to do. Make that change, whether it's business work, um, changing around the business, doing new things in the business, um, make the effort. You may be obsessed with walking away from a job, needing to take control and have justice in a situation on a new path with that Ace of Wands. Um, you will get a victory there. So if you're going in a new direction, I feel it's something that you could be very passionate about. You do need to do some soul searching on it and don't hold back. Don't hold back. It's definitely something passionate that you want to do, that you're ready to jump into. You're coming in in the Queen of Wands energy, so very passionate with that King and Queen of Wands about moving forward in doing this, whatever this is in your business, something that you've waited to do. I feel like it's time for you to do it. You are back and forth, though. You so you're worried about there could be some kind of deception there. There could be some issues there that you, that are underlying that you don't want to deal with. And so you're trapped in your head. Um, cancer, I feel like whatever you choose to do, you're going to put your efforts in that. You are committed to this, whatever this change is. And I feel like you are manifesting it incorrectly. It, not incorrectly, but you are manifesting it towards you correctly. So, um, so guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a blessed week.